Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. It's been a little while since we posted our last video. A lot of things have changed. This is definitely not an RV, but we are doing a bathroom makeover to the rental house that we are staying in currently. So here is a look over of the entire bathroom. It just has so many different tile and different shades going on. It looks very dingy no matter how clean it is. And the light bulbs always tend to cast a yellow shade into the bathroom. So we just wanna take the time to really brighten it up and kind of modernize it in a way. first step to this makeover was clearing out everything that was going to get in our way during the makeover and then we started cleaning all the walls and everything off getting it ready for the epoxy paint for the tile so here's what it looks like all cleared out everything except that closet because we're not touching that in this video Brandon decided that he wanted to take the door off to give us a little bit more space, open it up and give us some more light while we worked. And then after that, we just headed for Home Depot to pick out our supplies. We went and picked up some paint as well and we landed on either one of these. We ended up going with pita bread because in person it has a little bit more of a peachy tone rather than a yellow tone. And then for all that tile in there, we decided to go with the Homax Toughen tile. It's not the one that I wanted. Um, but it was pretty good. Just make sure that you get good rollers because we did pick some up that were not that good and a lot of the pieces came off while we were doing this. And then we also got a bunch of stain for the trim that we decided to put up and the shelves. So here's the trim that we're using the shelves. We ended up going with one one by six and that's going to be three shelves. And then this one by two trim and that's going to wrap around the entire bathroom. So before we start, we just wanted to go ahead and get the staining out of the way. That way while we're working on everything else, the stain has time to dry. And we ended up only going with one coat and that was a perfect shade. And it was the early American shade. <laughs> I also picked up these wood planters, planter pots. Um, they were $5 a piece at Home Depot. And we kept going back and forth whether or not we wanted to paint them black or wood. And we ended up on wood and I'm glad we did. The stain like took so well and they just came out really nice. And here's all the wood all stained up and it looks pretty good. While Brandon's working outside, I decided to go ahead and start painting the bathroom and the tile. I'm just taking the steel wool and I'm giving the wall one more wipe down. And then I'm going ahead and putting the first coat on. So I will say, um, make sure that you're not going over and over the area that you're working on. If you haven't touched it in two minutes, don't go back to it because it's very sticky. It's a very thick epoxy. A little goes a long way and you want to apply thin coats and make sure between your coats you give about an hour before you apply some more. We definitely needed two coats. You could still see the darker tile underneath and here's how it looks with one coat on. And then you can see the before. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. And here is everything with one coat on. I'm just going to wait an hour in between to apply the second coat. And Brandon's gonna go ahead and take this light off so he can take it outside and sand it down. We're not gonna buy a new one. We're gonna sand this one down and then paint it with a high glass, high gloss spray paint. We went ahead and applied the first coat of the paint for the upper walls. And once it dried, it had like a really 
nice shade to it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but it looks really nice. And here is the first coat done for both the wall and the tile. Meanwhile, Brandon's working outside getting that light fixture sanded down and painted. When he's all done sanding, he just wipes everything down with acetone to make sure that there's no grime left over and all the sawdust is off. And then he's going to go ahead and tape up these little fixtures where the light bulb, light bulb screws into so he doesn't get like a bunch of paint gunk inside so it still screws in easily. While he's doing that, I am inside putting the second coat on the wall. The first coat actually covered it very well. And then since we had a little bit of the white left over from the tile, you can also use it to paint your vanity top, which is what we did because our previous one was a little bit creamy, not so white, and we wanted it bright white and we didn't really care about getting it on anything because we were replacing the hardware for the sink. So here it is. It looks so good. You can really tell the difference between the color. After that, I decided to go ahead and paint the vanity and I'm using this semi-gloss like furniture paint and it would have been a lot easier if I would have used a brush, but I ended up going with these rollers because I already had some left over and it looks a little messy the first coat. We overall ended up putting three coats. We didn't end up doing anything with the inside because I think I have an idea for what I want to do, but I'm going to do it at a later date. Once we were done with that, we started putting up the trim. So this is the one by two that I was talking about and Brandon is measuring out every 16 inches for where the studs are on the wall and screwing them in. This wood wraps around the entire bathroom besides the shower and it came out really good. It looks so good. It's a nice divider between the wall and the tile and the different colors and it looks very modern farmhouse in my opinion. It looks very nice. Ignore the gray shower curtain in the background that's going. <laughs> Next Brandon's working on the, um, the shelves and he's putting anchors on the wall to make sure that the shelves can hold enough weight it's not really going to have anything heavy on it but just to reinforce it so it doesn't come out of the wall we ended up putting three of these up You can really tell it looks so good with that wood and the trim and the shelves and two coats of the tile, two coats of the paint on the wall, and then the three coats on the vanity it looks so nice. We opted in for going for these little hangers instead of a bar because I couldn't find one that I liked. And these were really budget friendly. I think they were only like $2 a piece at Home Depot. 
Next, we're just gonna go in and paint the mirror. We ended up doing two coats of that same black paint. And this is what it looks like so far. I went ahead and I changed that shower curtain over to a white one. And then to finish off the vanity, well not really finish off because we still need the faucet, but I found these wood um, knobs on Amazon and I ended up buying them and staining them the same color as the rest of the wood in the bathroom and I think it came out really nice. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it with the black, but I think it adds a nice accent and really ties in that wood and brings the wood down. Next, we went ahead and put up the light fixture after it was all painted black and we put in these new LED bulbs to really brighten everything up and with the new white tile and lighter color walls, it looks so much brighter in there. Next, I ended up going just to the Dollar Tree and buying a bunch of like $1 decorations and stuff. I didn't see the need to go and buy a crap ton of really expensive decor because I think this worked for what we wanted and I couldn't find anything more expensive that I wanted, so this worked perfectly. I just picked out some frames and put anything to do with like bathroom, like little sayings and stuff. And this is how it looks all done. And I also have a basket on the back of the toilet. On the other wall, I ended up adding these, I think like nine by 14 pictures. And they're all of like different bathroom stuff. I think they came out really nice, especially with these black frames that we DIY'd. Those were from the dollar store as well. We ended up just painting it with that same black spray paint. Our faucet finally came in. I ordered this from Amazon for $30. And this is Brandon being a typical guy, throwing the directions out that he ends up needing later. Um, the only problem that we had with this faucet, we got the faucet and the drain together. Um, both of them were too big for what we needed. Brandon is a plumber so he's used to making like stuff like this work and we did have to drill out where the faucet goes and also drill out the drain and it's a good thing that we did because we found out that the old drain was cracked and then we had a tiny leak underneath that we did not know about. So this drain was the last step. There's still little things that we're going to end up adding down the road but for right now it looks so good everything looks so nice together and the bathroom is so much brighter so if you remember what it looked like before with all the different colors all the different tiles and how it just was not ever bright it always had like a yellow orangey beige's cast to it but it turned out so good the colors really brightened up the entire bathroom made it feel a little bigger and the wood going around was just the perfect little touch along with the black accents. And here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have more videos coming of the rest of the house. I think the next one's going to be our dining room. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.